is focused on the modern alienated intellectual in Japan. So this uh, author, Natsume Soseki, who writes this uh, book, uh, this novel, it appears like a very uh, funny novel, but it has a lot of other undertones. Uh, he, uh, as this line tells us, his story is focused on the modern alienated intellectual in Japan and satirized the Philistinism. Uh, Philistinism and Sham, and when you Purambuche, on a Philistinism, Jada, the kind of Sham, and all that. So he has also written a, a, an autobiographical novel called Grass on the Wayside. So this is an excerpt from I Am A Cat. It is not the full novel. We are just learning one chapter from it. Only a part of the chapter is being described for us. A narrative whose unusual sly earthly earthy humor sorry I lost the connection that's fine okay uh, can you hear me now Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. So uh, we were talking about this uh, uh, this chapter. Yes, thank you for those responses. So astute observations. Astute means sharp. Sharp observations uh, will impress most readers. The narrator of the story is a cat. stories narrators human beings the person who tells the story is a cat. It is an anonymous cat. That is, the name of the cat is not mentioned anywhere in the story. So that is anonymity. Anonymous means without name. That is the meaning of anonymity. So there is no name which is given to the cat. So it is interesting because a pet usually has a name. So that is why we have pets. We have a pet. We have pet. So that is an interesting aspect of the story. And usually, why is it interesting? Because usually pets are given a name and usually pets are also considered part of the family. This cat has no name and it is, it is not part of the family in any meaningful sense. So therefore, this cat is an interesting cat because it is both an insider and outsider. So why is it both an insider and outsider? Because it is it is an insider because it is living inside the house. It is with the living with human beings. Outsider um, Karanam, though the cat lives inside the house, the people do not consider the cat as part of the family. So therefore, it is also an outsider. So uh, this uh, one second, please hold on.
okay uh, so this is so it is both an insider and outsider so this uh, helps the narrative considerably because so uh, there are two or three aspects of this though we have not entered into the story but there it is better to understand about the story before we get into the story so the cat is actually so it is like an autobiography of the cat okay it is an autobiography of a cat so that is why it is telling its its own story but that story is in fact indistinguishable from that of the master of the house so there is a man as a school he is works as a school teacher so it is almost the same as that man's story though the cat is telling the story and the life of the cat uh, usually it is considered as uh, uh, probably nine lives appa angane oru chollu nammal parayarundu poochike ഏഴ് ജന്മം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒമ്പത് ജന്മം ഉണ്ടെന്ന് അതായത് അത്ര പെട്ടെന്നൊന്നും പൂച്ചകൾ മരിക്കില്ല എന്നുള്ളതിനാണ് ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ചൊല്ലുകൾ സൂചിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് നമ്മളങ്ങനെ പൂച്ചകൾ അങ്ങനെ പെട്ടെന്ന് മരിച്ച് നമ്മൾ കാണാറില്ല എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഇൻ റോഡ് ആക്സിഡൻസ് അല്ലാതെ പൂച്ചകൾക്ക് വളരെയധികം മരണത്തിൽ നിന്ന് രക്ഷപ്പെടാനുള്ള എന്തോ ഒരു കഴിവുള്ളതായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ പറയാം സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഹെസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്രൊബോബിയലി നയൻ ലൈവ്സ് it is only semi autobiography you know purnamayittum autobiography aanannu parayan pattilla kaaranam it is also the life of the master so when the cat tells the story it is not just the story of the cat it is also the story of the master so the next is point of view point of view nu parayunnadana ipo idile i ennu parney parayunnathu cat aanu It's a first person point of view. So there are different kinds of point of views. I am going to tell a story about this story. It is a first person point of view. So we will see all the stories that we have in our minds. I am going to tell a story about this first person point of view. There are many stories like he, she and then ഐ എന്നുള്ള അപ്പൊ അതിലൊരു കഥ പറയുന്ന ആള് പാർട്ടിസിപ്പന്റ് അല്ലാതെ വരുമ്പോ ഹി ഷി എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടാണ് വരാ സോ സച്ച് പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് തേർഡ് തേർഡ് പേഴ്സൺ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂസ് ഓക്കെ തേർഡ് പേഴ്സൺ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റോറി വിച്ച് ഇസ് റിട്ടൺ ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ അതായത് ഐ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ കഥ പറയുമ്പോ ഈ അതിൽ ഐ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കാറ്റാണ് പൂച്ചയാണ് so the point of view of this narrative the story is that of the cat so what does it mean it means that we see and hear only what the cat sees and hears appa ee ai ennu parna aalu ipo nammal kadha parayumbo oru ai ennu parayna aalu oru manushan anengil ayalude kaichapadilude aanu nammal mattulla kadhapaathrangaleyum you know kadagalile kadayilulla sambhavangale ellam kaanu avundana adane point of view ennu parayunnu so when we look at this uh, story through the cat we see and hear only the cat sees and hears and with the the point of view the perspective kaichapada perspective nu parnal kaichapada and it is this uh, perspective that is the perspective of the cat which is predominant adha irikkum idile predominant aayittu nilkunnathu adha irikkum idile etho important aayittu nilkunnathu so Uh, though it is uh, a, a story of the cat though it is a perspective of the cat the perspective of the cat rules although we take it that i am a cat for all its promise of an autobiography is again a story of human beings so why is it a story of human beings also because the cat lives among human beings and everything that the cat tells us is also about human beings so therefore the story becomes not only of the cat but also of the human beings with which the cat lives the cat's status as an outsider of the species that is of society and language helps nevertheless nevertheless means however nevertheless enu parna however engilum so 
So the cat's status as an outsider of the species, society, and language. All these things are outsider. Now, again, an outsider. It is a different species. So, cat belongs to the species of cats, whereas human beings are a different species. We are Homo sapiens. So, it is outside the species of human beings. It's outside the society of human beings, and also the language is also different. So, human beings, the language of human beings is different from the languages of all other animals. So, in all ways, it is an outsider. Yet, it is still, no, nevertheless, in gilum. It is still helpful in drawing meaningful contrast and offering insights. Insights means understanding, otherwise unavailable to human minds. अब आंगने वो रुकाइज़ चपड़ल, पूछे डर रुकाइज़ चपड़ल, ना हमारे तरह ना हमारे नोके का नाम बट आसादी किम्बो। What is the benefit? We get certain insights. That is, we get certain understandings which otherwise we may not have. अब मट्टे जो आल डे पर्सपेक्टिव इधर नमला नोकी कारण बोला ना नमला कुछ ना मुकम्मल सिला नहीं नहीं नमला नमला स्वयं नोकी कारण बोला ना मुक्त नमला पिते नल्ले उपायरी वैसे इफ समबडी एल्स लुक्स एट अस समबडी एल्स जजेस अस देन इट विल बी डिफरेंट सो देन वी रियलाइज व्हाट आर द ड्रॉबैक्स दैट वी मे analyzes and understands so that is the importance so that is the importance of the uh, cat's insight the cat's perspective so pucheda perspective ile kada kaanunnade importance that is uh, we get an understanding which is otherwise not available for human beings Is it clear? You understood so far? Okay, thank you, Akshaya, Murtha. Thank you for those responses. So let us uh, go to the story. Uh, let us read that st story. I will ask somebody to read. <laughs> Kartika, can you read that story? Kartika. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. I, I am a cat. Yeah. I am a cat, but as yet I have no name. I haven't the faintest idea of where I was born. The first thing I do remember is that I was crying, meow, meow. Somewhere in a gloomy, damp place, it was there that I met a human being. For the first time in my life, though I found this all out at a later date, I learned that his human being was called a student, one of the most ferocious of the human race. I also understand that the students sometimes catch us, cook us, and then take to eating uh, eating us. But at that time, I did it know not have the slightest idea of all this. So I was in Titan a bit. When his student placed me on the frame of, of his hand and looked me up slightly, I only had the feeling of floating around. After a while, I got used to this position and looked around. This was probably the first time I had a good look at a so-called human being. What impressed me as being most strange still remained deeply embed embedded in my mind. The face which should have been covered with tires was a slippery thing, similar to what I know what I now know to be a tea kettle. I have since 
from across many others cats but none of them are such freak freaks moreover the center of the students face crowded to a great extent and from the two holes located here he would often emit smoke i was extremely annoyed by being choked by this that this was what they came to back i came to know only recently thank you kartika so there is a lot of information that the cat tells us in the very first paragraph of this novel so it begins by saying i'm a cat but still i have no name so usually the cats we have in our homes we will give some names so it in the beginning itself it makes it clear so don't expect to find any name for name for me they have not given any name for me so i am a cat but i still i don't have any name so then we start immediately thinking of where it was born so the cat says i don't know i haven't the faintest idea means i don't know i don't have any clue i don't have any understanding of where i was born so i don't know where i was born so the what is the only thing that i remember the only thing that the cat remembers is crying meow meow so this is the sound this is the cry of the cat so this is what the cat remembers in a very dark place in a moist damp means nana ullathu gloomy means dark place so in a dark damp place the cat was born so when it was born there the first human being that it comes across is called a student and it says so because of the behavior of the student the cat calls the student as one of the most ferocious of the human race nammal lions ne ka ferocious beings nanu pare appo adu pole ee pooja manusharile etum abagadagaravai abagadariyayittulla vyaktigalayittulla students aanu adare vidyarthigalana so why does it call so because of a certain reason so she it the cat has learned from other cats that the students have this very bad habit of catching the cats appo pooja pidikya udravikya adakke cheyna swabhavam വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് കൂടുതലാണ് കുട്ടികൾക്ക് കൂടുതലാണ് അപ്പൊ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇറ്റ് കോൾസ് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഫിറോഷ്യസ് ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് സോ വട്ട് ഡു ദി സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടു എ സം ടൈംസ് ക്യാച്ച് ദം ദ കുക്ക് ദം ആൻഡ് ദൻ ഈവൻ ഈറ്റ് ദ ക്യാച്ച് സോ ദ ക്യാറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ബിഗിനിങ് ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓൺലി വെൻ യു ഹാവ് സം എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് വിത്ത് ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഹൗ ബാഡ് ദ ക്യാൻ ബി ദ so in the beginning the cat doesn't understand but the what did the student do the student uh, uh, took the spa, uh, cat on its palm and uh, it throws the cat away so that's what happens uh, so uh, when the student takes the cat on its palm it is able to see the face of the human being because കയ്യിൽ എടുത്ത് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ മുഖത്തിന് നേരെ കൊണ്ടുവരുമല്ലോ അപ്പം അങ്ങനെ ഈ പൂച്ചയ്ക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഹാഡ് എ ഗുഡ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് എ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് ഈ മനുഷ്യൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എങ്ങനെയാണെന്നുള്ളത് മനസ്സിലായത് ഈ ഈ വിദ്യാർത്ഥി ഈ പൂച്ചയെ കയ്യിലെടുത്ത് ഉയർത്തിയപ്പോഴാണ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് സെർട്ടൺ ഒപ്പീനിയൻ അബൌട്ട് ദ അപ്പിയറൻസ് ഓഫ് എ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ അപ്പിയറൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് ലൈക്ക് സോ ഇറ്റ് സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ദ അപ്പിയറൻസ് ഇസ് വെരി സ്ട്രെയിഞ്ച് സ്ട്രെയിഞ്ച് മീൻസ് വിചിത്രമായത് so it is very clearly fixed in its mind what is the strangeness on human beings human beings let on pratyekara illa karyam endana it says that the face uh, which should have been covered with hair is a slippery thing like a tea kettle we chaaya pagartuna or kettle unda cheriya kettle must have seen a kettle okay kettle inde pratyekara endana oru mooku pole it has a spout അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു മൂക്ക് ഏകദേശം മനുഷ്യന്റെ മൂക്ക് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് കെറ്റിൽ so that is how the cat compares 
the human face to it compares the human face to a tea kettle chaya bolta na kettle so why does it say that uh, the face is a slippery thing because if you look at cats cats have hairs on their face appo poochekkka mogam narichu romangalum meesiyum okke etta manushan angana kaanatha appo adu oru vichithramayittulla kaaryamayittu ee poochekki thonna so uh, the cat says that uh, human beings are freaks because or no cat has got such appearance so therefore it calls human beings as freaks and what is the activity of the student which the cat doesn't like so the center of the student's face is protruded to a great extent center of the student's face is protruded to a great extent neendu nilkunu mugathinte nadu bhagam mumbilekku neendu nilkunu adendana mumbilekku nadu neendu nilkunna mugathinte nadu bhagam endayirikkum it is the nose yes exactly amrita it is the nose yes mayusha so it is the yes akshaya so it is the nose so that is what the uh, uh, cat observes it says the center of the student's face is protruded to a great extent and from the two holes av mukinde rendu dwarathil kuda iyal edak edaki smoke he emits smoke ay ingane irikku smoke porthekku vidunnathu because he must be smoking cigarettes അപ്പൊ ആരും കാണാതെ ഈ കുട്ടി പുക വലിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ പുക വലിച്ചിട്ട് ഇവന്റെ അഭ്യാസം എന്താന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മൂക്കി കൂടെ പുക വിടലാണ് ഇയാള് ചെയ്യണത് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വാട്ട് ചിൽഡ്രൻ എക്സ്പെരിമെന്റ് ഇൻ ദർ യങ് ഏജസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഒബ്സർവിംഗ് ദി എൽഡേഴ്സ് ദീസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ എക്സ്പെരിമെന്റ് വിത്ത് സ്മോക്കിംഗ് ബൈ ട്രൈയിങ് ടു സെൻഡ് ഔട്ട് സ്മോക്ക് ത്രൂ ദ ഹോൾസ് ഓഫ് ദ നോസ് സോ ഐ വാസ് എക്സ്ട്രീം ബിക്കോസ് ദ കാറ്റ് ഇസ് in front of the face of this human being it gets choked choking chok shwasa muttuga nan artha choked so the cat gets choked by this appo adu pinne vera aalkaroda anveshichapadana poochekku manasilaya adiniyana pogeyilla ennu vilikkunathu appo ee pogeyilliyana ee kutti pogachondirunna alle cigarette aanu pogachondirunna alle ആ പൂച്ചക്ക് പിന്നീടാണ് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ സൈസ് ഐ കെയിം ഔട്ട് ടു നോ ഓൺലി റീസെൻ്റ്ലി അപ്പം അത് ആദ്യം പുക വരുമ്പോൾ ഇതെന്താ പുക വരുന്നതെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുക പക്ഷെ പിന്നീടാണ് ആ പൂച്ചക്ക് മനസ്സിലായത് ഈ പുക വരാൻ കാരണം ഇവൻ പുക വലിച്ചിട്ടാണ് അതായത് സിഗരറ്റ് വലിച്ചിട്ടാണെന്നുള്ളത് പൂച്ചക്ക് പിന്നെയാണ് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നത് ദെൻ വാട്ട് ഇഡ് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഡൂ ടു ദ കെറ്റ് അപ്പം കയ്യിലൊക്കെ എടുത്തു ഈ പൂച്ചയൊക്കെ കയ്യിലെടുത്തു അപ്പൊ ആ പൂച്ച വിചാരിച്ചു ഇയാൾ ഭയങ്കര സ്നേഹമുള്ള ആളാണ് വിചാരിച്ചു ബട്ട് ഓൺലി ആഫ്റ്റർ സം ടൈം ദ കാറ്റ് റിയലൈസസ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഫിറോഷ്യസ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് ഈ ഫിറോഷ്യസ് എന്ന് വിളിക്കാനുള്ള കാരണം നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവുന്ന അടുത്ത പാരഗ്രാഫ് വായിക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് ലക്ഷ്മി പ്ലീസ് റീഡ് ദറ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ഹലോ യെസ് ഐ വാസ് നഗർ കംഫർട്ടബിളി ഇൻ ദ ഫാം ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹാൻഡ് വെൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ എ വൈൽ I started to travel around at a terrific speed. I was unable to find out if the student was moving or if it, if it was just myself uh, that was in my motion. But in any case, I became terribly dense. dizzy and a little sick just uh, as i was thinking that i could last much longer at this rate 
I hear a, I hear a tongue and so sparks, sparks. I remember everything, everything up till that moment, but think as hard as I can, I cannot recall what took place immediately after this. Okay, thank you, thank you, Lakshmi. I was snuggled up. Snuggled up means uh, comfortably seated. Odingi kodi, churundu kodi, irikina the niyana snuggling. Snuggling, I mean, churundu kodi, sabuvete maya te irikina. Apa yeh kutti kaiyile dutta, apu langaiyile dutta samay. Langai, I mean, palm niyana I mean, langai niyana. So when he is seated comfortably in the palm of the student, then it suddenly started moving at a huge speed. It does not understand. What has happened? It started traveling at a big speed. So, what has happened actually? The student has thrown the cat away. Uche eda to vadi chhe riya ne kuti chhe idhar lo. Vasha adi kuch puche ki mansila villa. Savire maite ka idhi rano thi na da petta na bangar speed le. Yaane vadiyo po na bola thodno. Karanon da na ka idhi rano puche i kuti vadi chhe riya ne jada. So the cat was unable to understand what is happening. So uh, after some time, it heard a thud and saw sparks. Thud is the sound of falling. What is the thud? Thud. 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 What is that sound? And then the sound down or a metal. Okay, it is a good imagination. But it is actually the sound of the cat itself falling. So I am we shame with the Perjilan. Adunan or Shabdan go to Navan, another Swayam, another Pakshe, Ashabdam, Ampuchaka, self identification of Puchaki Pride, which is a rebuchele. Adunda, it doesn't understand what is happening. Adunda, another, which Abdan go to Nakaparina. Yamina, another animal slightly. So it is the sound of the uh, cat which has fallen. That is right, Mayusha. It is the cat which has fallen. And sparks more remember. In Namalu Petanovella, I dig it to Murakar, Nakshatram, Nalachitang, and the Varadun, Adani Spark. So, when you lose orientation, when you lose uh, control of the situation, it seems as if there is a spark around you, or it is as if some stars are around you. Apadana, we remember the cartoon like a Ganami, Nakshatram, Nalachitum, in a Valaganam, very shock with him one down the experience. You feel that uh, there are some stars around. Which is actually because of the impact of the. So that is a result of the impact of the fall. That is why it has this experience. So the sound as well as the spark is an impact of the fall. Because of the fall, the cat has become unconscious. Valade Shakta Maitla Bagadang Laka Petiale, Namla Bodham Nashtapodam. When she took an antenna, a lamb ring looking at the names. Vedia Bagadang Laka on the rainbow, the body did a mechanism. It's a mechanism of the human body to turn itself unconscious, to minimize the pain and the uh, trauma associated with accidents. So that is why the cat is unable to remember what happened after that. But it can't recall. Recall means remember. It can't remember what happened after that. Oh, 
ओके नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ लुपना लुपना के यो हेलो सर यस when i come to i could not find the students anywhere nor could i find the many cats that had been with me either moreover my dear mother had also disappeared and the extraordinary things were of that this place that compared to where i i had been before was extremely uh, bright ever so bright i could hardly keep my eyes open this was because i had uh, i had been removed from my straw bed and uh, thrown uh, thrown into a bamboo bush ela bush bush thank you look thank you look bamboo bush bamboo bush na chal mulla mulla eda chedi ha so what has happened what has happened e payan the student he has actually thrown that cat into a bamboo bush appo ee molayada edeyilekku varichiri edu adondana puchik athrayum vedaniyum okka thonan kaaranam karanam ee molayade ekku kambugalakku metu kondu kayumbo bayangara pain undo so this is what has happened to us in it in a comfortable vehicle kondittulla oru bed ilana adu kadannirunnathu lying comfortably in a straw bed and from there the cat was taken and thrown into a bamboo bush so that is what happened so uh, when the uh, child throws and it falls it loses consciousness so when i came to means when the cat comes back to consciousness bodham tirichu kitti kayumbo the cat comes back to its consciousness it doesn't see the student again appa adu kore neru ay kaanu aa sambhavam nadana kore neru ay kaanu adondana ഓതം വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ആ സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റിനെ അവിടെ ഒന്നും കണ്ടില്ല സോ ഇറ്റ് ഓൾ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ നൗ സെപ്പറേറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ദ അതർ ക്യാറ്റ്സ് യു നോ വൻ ക്യാറ്റ്സ് ഡെലിവർ കിറ്റൺ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദേ ഡെലിവർ ദം ഇൻ ലാർജ് നമ്പർ സോ ദ യു ഫൈൻഡ് വെർ എവർ ക്യാറ്റ് ഗിവ്സ് ബേർത്ത് ടു കിറ്റൺ യു കെൻ സി ദർ വിൽ ബി മെനി കിറ്റൺ വിച്ച് ആർ അറൗണ്ട് സോ ദ ദിസ് ക്യാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ഹാഡ് മെനി such brothers and sisters so it does not find anything there now in the new place which is uh, the bamboo bush so it also does it misses its mother so the mother cat is also not there and it was in a dark place you remember that the cat says that it was born in a dark place but this new place where it has now come it is a bright place because it is the bamboo bush is in the outer space it is outside the house so it is very bright brightened by sunlight so i could hardly keep my eyes open means it was very difficult to keep its eyes open kanna thornu vekkanayittu bayangara buddhimuttana karena prakasham appo pooja kuttiyana cherudana adini prakasham pettane bayangara prakasham vannu appo adine korchu buddhimuttu anubhavapadu so it it feels that uh this la brightness is intolerable for the cat yeah, i could hardly keep my eyes open i hardly keep my eyes open means i could not keep my eyes open so what the reason is that it was removed from the comfortable damp and dark place and it is now in a bamboo bush okay so let us now look at the next paragraph i think we will stop with the next paragraph i request uh, mayusha to read that paragraph. finally mustering up my strength i crawled out from this bamboo grave and found myself before a large pond i sat on my haunches and tried to take in the situation 
I didn't know what to do, but suddenly I had an idea. If I could attract some attention by mewing, uh, the student might come back to me. I commenced, but this was to no avail. Nobody came. Thank you, Mayusha. Mustering means gathering, collecting, or gathering. Then you know, mustering. You know, muster means to collect or to gather. Shakti sambadiche. It crawls out from this bamboo grave. Why is it calling it a grave? So that is why the uh, cat is calling that bamboo bush a bamboo grave. So I, actually, I, the cat considers itself to be reborn from the grave. So after coming out of it, it finds itself before a large pond. I sat on my haunches. To sit on your haunches means to sit on your haunches. And it tries to understand the situation. So it uh, sits there to, and uh, tried to take in the situation. To take in means to understand the situation. And the cat is un the cat doesn't know because it is a small cat, it is a baby cat, it doesn't know what to do. In the chain. So suddenly it gets an idea. So it, it thinks that. So this is an idea which most animals try to do. It or most animals try to attract attention by crying or barking or making some sounds so that it gets the attention of other animals or even human beings. So it started mewing. So it started mewing, thinking that the same student who threw it away will come back and protect it. So it started, I commenced means, commence. Commence means to start. So it started moving, mewing, started making sounds, but nobody came. Not only the student did not come, nobody from the house came and uh, tried to see what is happening to the cat. So it started crying for some time and nobody is coming near to it. So when nobody comes near the cat, the cat will now start exploring the place. So that is what we are going to, uh, that is what we will be discussing in the next class. I think we will stop for today and continue later. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining. Have a nice afternoon. Goodbye.